Hello friends and Shavua Tov. That's the blessing you bless each other when Shabbat ends. And there's a tradition to tell stories of the Baal Shem Tov when Shabbat ends. So the first story we're going to tell of the Baal Shem Tov is how the Baal Shem Tov was born. The Baal Shem Tov's parents, Rabbi Eli Ezer and Rabbi Sara, had no children. And they prayed for children for many, many years and didn't get a child. But they had one mitzvah that they would do every single Shabbat, which was having guests over to their Shabbat table. So Rabbi Eliezer and Sarah would have tons of guests that they didn't know and they would feed them and have them around their Shabbat table. And one Shabbat, a strange guest came in in the middle of Shabbat with his briefcase. Hi, I came from really far away. Can I get a bowl of soup? The other guests saw this person that came in with his briefcase in the middle of Shabbat and they knew he desecrated the Shabbat because he traveled with his briefcase and he was traveling on Shabbat. So the other guests at the table told Rabbi Eliezer, don't invite him over, kick him out. He, he desecrated the Shabbat. He can't, he can't be with us at the Shabbat meal. But Rabbi Eliezer said, oh, welcome stranger, come sit at my table, be my guest. And do you think this guest was a nice person to have around? No, I was the most annoying guest that Rabbi Eliezer ever ever had over. <laughs> I was annoying. I slurped my soup. I ate with my mouth open. I had my elbows on the table. I didn't use my silverware. I was the worst guest ever. And do you think Rebbe Eliezer kicked me out after the meal? No, I invited him to stay over and sleep over and even have the meal with us the next day. And you know what? Even have the third meal. And you know what? Even after Shabbat, have the fourth meal with us until Shabbat was over and Sunday morning came. When Sunday morning came, he escorted the guest on his way because that's part of the mitzvah, to escort the guest. And suddenly the guest turns around to Rabbi Eliezer and says, Rabbi Eliezer, do you really think I'm an ordinary guest? Do you know who I am? I am Eliyahu Anavi. And guess what? In merit of your big mitzvah of having guests over, you'll be blessed with a child, a son, that will light up the eyes of all the people of Israel. And so it did happen that Rebbe Eliezer and Sarah got one son and they named him Israel, Israel, because he was going to light up the eyes of Israel. But his mother passed away when he was very young. And when he was five, his father was also very ill and was about to pass away. So he called Israel to his deathbed. My son, I'm so old and you're so young. You're only five years old, but I can feel I won't be living for very much longer. So I want to tell you two important things. The first is don't be afraid of anything and anyone in the world. Be afraid only of God because he controls everything and no one can harm you or do you any good if God didn't command them to. And therefore you can't fear his servants, you should only fear the master who sent them. So only fear God. Yes, daddy. And the second thing I want to teach you is that every single Jew has a part of God in him. And therefore you must love every single Jew, even the most simple one. Remember those two things. Yes, daddy. Be only afraid from God and love every Jew. And really the Baal Shem Tov based his whole Torah on those two teachings. That God is the ruler of the world and controls everything in the world. And that is one of the pillars of faith of the Rambam, that he's here and watching us all the time. And the second is to love every single Jew. So may we all have a great week and Shavua Tov! Thanks for learning with me a story about the Baal Shem Tov! Shavua Tov! Bye!